for everyone interested in audio circuits and especially hi-fi high fidelity audio circuits it's important to know that there are two kinds of hum say ripple that can disturb uh, audio audio circuits very very substantially so uh, you hear you listen to music in your room but on on the background you will hear hum out of your loudspeaker especially when the volume uh, is set to a low level anyway and in this video I want to show two types of hum it has all to do with my project of making a uh, double power supply for 2 times 12 volts and that's here but the hum issue is more or less universal and uh, that's why I want to pay some attention to it in my book schematics 2 you will find the exact information about hum, ripple, power supplies, the sensitivity of audio amplifiers and pre-amplifiers and you can buy it on the Lulu website anyway. It shows all kinds of circuits that I've made in the past and tested in a very proper way etc. Anyway the first type of hum that you can hear when you make a hi-fi circuit or an audio amplifier is this kind of hum. Let's listen to it. That's this hum. And that is an extremely amplified hum I have here a, a signal tracer that amplifies say thousand times or so that hum is generated at the output here of the positive and the negative And here is the uh, capacitance multiplier that does its job by suppressing the hum to a very low level. And here is the load and that load is quite high. And the hum, there is a relation between the current that the circuit takes and the hum. So let's let's uh, do an ex an experiment. I hope you can hear the hum now. I will I amplify it to the much to the most. And here is that load, consisting of four 20 watt lamps at 12 volts at say 900 milliampere. 400 milliampere or whatever and when I uh, make a connection between the first lamp here so that there is more current DC current in the circuit here you can hear that the uh, hum it's somewhat stronger and you can also see that on the scope so now a, a big load more ripple and a somewhat smaller load there's less ripple and 
this ripple is extremely amplified. I have very very high demands when it comes to audio circuits. I made them since 1967 uh, and that means that this power supply for instance uh, full, fulfills my needs but in another way in my opinion the hum is somewhat too high. And I know that, for instance, uh, there are chips, audio amplifier chips, that have a hum suppression inside the chip. And that's very interesting. So uh, that problem was also recognized by many chip manufacturers, especially where uh, chips audio chips have to amplify sound on low voltages. That's the, pro that's the problem. Anyway, this is one way of um, one type of hum. The other type of hum, now we'll take out the, the mains now. The other type of hum has to do with shielding. When audio uh, amplifiers or especially preamplifiers are not properly shielded, they can pick up a lot of hum, and that hum is generated in fact everywhere. So that's the reason why I shielded here the backside and the underside. My camera indicates that I have to stop the battery is low, but anyway, the, that's the second type of hum. That's very important and it has to be uh, pressed down to zero level. And that has everything to do, everything to do with the principle of one earth. So the shielding here and here. Uh, are going to the zero or the minus and then to the one and only earth connection of the supply capacitor. That's very important. And much more information again is in my book. Wish you luck. By the way, forgot to tell, this is the schematic of the circuit that I show here. A low hum variable power supply going from 0 up to 12 volts or even 18 volts when you use it 12 volt transformer. In fact often a 13 volt AC transformer, smoothing capacitor and here is that typical a capacitance multiplier and it only works properly with one transistor, not two, only one. And this capacitor plays a role in suppressing the hum and this capacitor plays a role to um, make that the circuit doesn't, doesn't oscillate. But this is the, in fact the best circuit and I want to Publish a the double power supply within one week or two weeks, but this is only one channel. It's the positive lead. Gives out say 800 milliampere or one ampere at 10 volts and uh, a smaller current at say 14 volts or 16 volts.